remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Kansas City Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes is under attack after some old tweets resurfaced of him defending murderer George Zimmerman's shooting and murder of Trayvon Martin back in February 2012. This dude just when I was starting to check him out, because I didn't really know who the dude was. Turns out he's a hell of a football player. In fact, they say he's like leading in touchdowns uh, and what do you say, uh, uh, yardage. Over the last couple of years, he's been the fastest one to reach his stats. So he's supposed to be a pretty good dude as far as football. But as far as a person, his character is definitely in question. These tweets date back to 2013 when Patrick responded to a person who wrote, this case was an absolute horrible tragedy. However, there was no criminal activity that occurred. Patrick responded by writing, no one knows what exactly happens which is why he is not guilty, but a crime could have occurred. Mahomes then followed by writing this, which really sealed his fate. Stop resisting or assaulting a cop. Stop resisting or assaulting a cop. We'll come back to that. Patrick's assessment of the situation happened nearly one year after George Zimmerman fatally shot Trayvon Martin. Zimmerman called 911 to report what he lied and said was a suspicious person. Even after the dispatcher told him, do not follow Trayvon Martin, he followed him anyway picked a fight with him. When Trayvon defended himself, he shot the boy in the chest to add insult to injury after he was arrested and tried. The clowns in Florida, they let him off the hook, family. They acquitted him of murder. And ever since then, He's been rubbing it in the face of the public, but more specifically, Trayvon's parents. He's been really rubbing it in their faces. Like, I ain't gonna say that. But uh, I don't see how Trayvon's daddy can live with himself. I'll say that. I don't see how he can do it. Whoa, too much. See, when the abuse becomes the abuser, that's when people get right. You got to defend yourself, man. You can't let people just ride on you. You have to defend yourself. This dude totally disrespected that family. So he kills their son and double backs and sues them for defamation of character. That is the arrogance of George Zimmerman. I wish like hell he would have took me up on that offer to fight. He tried to pick a fight with DMX. When I called him out, his lawyer didn't even call back. Oh, they was ready to fight X. When I called him out, he ain't want no smoke. That would have been the greatest fight of my life. Out every blow. You know how normally when you throw a jab, the jab is to set up the right hand? No. Every punch 
would have been thrown with deadly intention. I mean, every single punch. They would have had to jump into the ring and get me off of him. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't have stopped. When he went down, I wouldn't have stopped. But let's get back to this quarterback. He used one of the terms that police often use when they murder in cold blood, stop resisting. What, that, what does that do? That sets up the excuse. He was resisting. So I had to shoot him. Shouldn't have resisted. See, once they say resist, bah, 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 bah. well, he was resisting. Dude actually said, stop resisting or assaulting a cop. Keep in mind, Joy Zimmerman was a neighborhood watchman. He was not even a cop. This tells you something about the psyche of Patrick Mahomes. I don't trust him. I don't trust him at all. Now, today, they play the Tennessee Titans in a championship game. I think they're in the, what, AFC? But they're playing the Tennessee Titans for the championship, for the right to go to the Super Bowl. Take a wild guess who I'll be rooting for. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.